Good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you're joining uh, us from today. My name is Jennifer Scherze. I'm the Senior Marketing Manager for our Nursing Product Line here at Jones & Bartlett Learning, and I want to welcome you to our live virtual interview with author Anna Curran. So a little bit about Anna Curran. While serving as an Associate Professor of Nursing in California's Long Beach Community College's Associate Degree Program, Anna recognized several critical unmet needs in injection skills training products. It was there that she developed Injectapad and Practicamp, her first in a long series of injection training products used throughout schools of nursing in both the U.S. and Canada and marketed through Walker, Inc but it is in her program text to teach refresher math and clinical dosage calculations that Anna made her first most significant contribution to nursing education. With well over one million copies of her textbook sold, Anna considers her newest edition, Dimensional Analysis for Meds, refocusing on essential metric calculations, the definitive text of her career. And she will explain why in her interview with us today. Welcome, Anna. Oh, hello. Good morning. I'm in California, so it's it's still morning. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what inspired you to write a math text for nursing students. The, the first thing I have to say, what, what made me do it was just plain gumption or determination. I had been teaching for five years in the second year of the associate degree nursing program. And when I was reassigned to teach fundamentals, one of the subjects I was to teach was refresher math but I found the program text that had been assigned unusable. It bore absolutely no relationship to clinical practice, so I was determined to write something that would. I was completing a master's in instructional design at that time, so I took a course in program and instruction and wrote my own text. I tested extensively in development with individual students, and by its second year, my text had eliminated all student math problems. I know that sounds unbelievable, but it's true. It was published nationally at this point, becoming the leading text in its subject area. That's really amazing, Anna, and quite an accomplishment, and seems like that's really changed the way students learn today. So why do you think that, think that students um, still worry about clinical calculations in this program? I think all students have a general fear of math. It's not something we use anymore. You know, everything is automatic. And the idea that they're going to have to to learn math to give drug dosages, that seems insurmountable to them. But, you know, if you reassure them that all the math they need to know was taught in the sixth grade, and that's true. Learning dosage calculations is just a refresher course in what they have already learned with an introduction to actual clinical dosage calculations. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting, and I bet that every nursing student is probably pretty relieved you know, to hear that they probably have already learned the math that they need for this course. So let's talk a little bit about the new fifth edition of Dimensional Analysis for Meds. Can you tell us a little bit more about that textbook? Yeah, I sure can. Let me tell you, this is far, as far as I'm concerned, this is the definitive text of my career. Uh, you know, I started when the uh, so the uh, apothecary system was still around. I, I never thought I would outlive it. And uh, we, we, the dimensional analysis finally became recognized, and uh, so I was able to then move to that and make a successful entry with that. Uh, I've finally been able to eliminate the outdated ratio proportion and formula methods and fo focus exclusively on dimensional analysis. This is the only calculation method that works for all clinical calculations. And those of you listening, it, you may know that dimensional analysis has a couple of other names, units conversion and the label factor methods. They're all the same thing. You have quite a lot of experience in this area, so I think that faculty will really find that this textbook is going to serve them well and their students well, too. So you talked about that this edition focuses on the metric system. Why is that so important today? Well, it, you know, just a little history. The metric system has been the lifeblood of clinical dosage calculations since the 1950s. When it started, they started to get organized and became international. It was the metric system that was picked up to do it. Uh, it it's the first topic that needs to be addressed, and I made it my priority to teach it first and more clearly than ever before in this edition. So what makes this text different from other textbooks that are on the market that also teach dosage calculation? Well, in addition to using dimensional analysis, 
and refocusing on the metric system. It continues something I started right from the beginning, uh, to eliminate relevant uh, to eliminate irrelevant content, move steadily from smoothly you know, and smoothly from simple to complex principles and context. So, um, and I, this is something I've challenged myself constantly to do, and be as direct as I can. I also understand that this textbook will feature narrated lectures and videos. How do you think that these resources will be beneficial to both students and faculty? Some people learn better from lectures and video presentations, and these will always be relevant assists for learners. What are some other tips that you have for instructors that are using your textbook maybe for the first time, or maybe they used a previous edition? What kind of advice do you have for them? First, start assigning chapters early. Tell the students they will be tested and graded on each chapter. Assigning a grade value ensures student participation and learning. Instructors can use any math problems they wish from the text because students cannot memorize actual problems. These tests should be really short, just five or six questions to hit the key concepts. And these steps are included in the text under the instructor guidelines. Excellent. I'm sure that will serve as a really good reference for anybody who's looking to use this textbook. So last question, why do you think this dosage calculation text or any of the ones that you've written have become bestsellers in the market? I think from the beginning because it was it was so personal. I mean, I it's they really are conversations with my students telling them exactly what clinical practice is like. And I not only focus on essential learnings, I point out where errors can occur so that students can focus even more closely on these. And then the, my simple to complex instructional approach, extensive numbers of examples and quizzes uh, reinforce essential learnings. Over my three decades of authorship, I have kept my uh, text current and up to date through many clinical changes. And the fact that they have sold over a million copies is something that no other competing text has, has approached. And that alone should be proof enough of their value. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Anna. I think we just wanted to give uh, faculty today just kind of a, a brief overview of what the impetus was for you writing these textbooks, a little bit about the history, and a little bit of information about what they can expect. And if you would like to request a review copy, if you're considering this new text, you can do so by visiting our website at go.jblearning.com, and the backslash is Karen 5 e you can also download a sample chapter if you're waiting for that textbook to arrive, and that's go.jblearning.com slash current sample. And if you'd like to contact your account manager, you can do so as well by visiting our website. It's jblearning.com slash contact. That allows you uh, an interactive map where you can find out who your account manager is. Anna, is there anything else that you would like to close with that maybe we didn't cover that might also um, be of interest to anyone who could even be teaching this course for the first time. I know frequently we get that question as well on the marketing and sales yeah. side that, you know, sometimes right. it's an adjunct professor. So this could be quite a daunting subject area for someone to jump in and teach. No, I, you know, the, the text speaks for itself. The, the best thing you can do is just give it to a student and watch them do exactly what I did. Because uh, the principles of writing programmed instruction is to, teach, to, to test it with individual students. So pick a, a, a student uh, at the average learning level and sit there and, and do the chapters with them if you have any concern about it. Uh, for background information, uh, uh, I, I, I do want to tell you that uh, the Walker Incorporated, the company that makes all the Practi products, uh, is, is I started that program myself, that company myself, to, to mar market those uh, products. And it's named after my dad, Wallace Curran. And I really want to just pay tribute to him, uh, you know, for his support of me through all my learning. And uh I, I don't own the company anymore. I mean, it, that's too big a thing to hang on to and try to manage and still be an author. But uh, it's out there. You know, my focus for well, throughout all my years in nursing ed has been nurse. You know, making making it easier for nurses to students to learn better, and uh, and it will remain that way. Anyway, thank you for signing in. I hope you'll give a, a good shout out for for the text. Uh, it's deserving and. Uh, 
That's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.